When I heard that there was going to be a documentary film about the late, great film critic Roger Ebert and is going to be directed by Steve James who gave us Hoop Dreams, The Interrupters and Stevie some really uh, some amazing films. This it came, it's, it, was, it, would, it would become one of uh, my most anticipated films of 2014. And so I was really excited to see this movie called Life Itself and it's based on the actual memoir that was written by Roger Ebert and it follows Roger Ebert throughout his life the film that it does, it follows us throughout his life, we get to see his life growing up and becoming a film critic and working with Gene Siskel and getting married and to where he uh, was when he passed away in 2013. It also follows him in those final months of his life as he's struggling to survive and just enjoying life and enjoying what he's so passionate about and to me he's the greatest film critic to have ever lived and I loved growing up and watching him, like most people that, that talk about film on the internet today, I love growing up watching him and Gene Siskel battle it out week after week after week. It was something I actually looked forward to than any TV show or cartoon, especially when I got older or, or any kind of sitcom or drama growing up on television. I was looking forward to it. I mean, on Sunday, we'd go to church, we'd get home and get something to eat, and then I'd sit around and wait for 6.30 to roll around to hear what Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel were saying about the latest movies that have come out that week. Uh, I know it's inspired me as someone who's a film lover and a film critic and you know, you know, grateful for the, uh, the possibilities that are around today that I can you know, do this so freely. And I think what was so great about Roger Ebert is that he welcomed that as well. He enjoyed the way the technology was going, that he never feared it, he became part of social media. And this film, of course, examines all of this from his life, from his uh, young life, to where he is, uh, where he was uh, near the end of his life. And we get to see all facets of it. I mean, we, we, this movie has, uh, you know, it's, uh, there's fo their footage of the last months of his life. There is interviews by his friends, his family, and his wife, Chaz Ebert. And we get to see just everything that was going on in this amazing life and uh, that he wasn't a perfect man, <laughs> that he had his flaws, that he was kind of honorary, he had an ego. And of course, you know, it didn't really matter whether I agreed with his opinion or not. I was just always amazed by it and it always felt so accessible and I always felt like I could understand it and, and it made me excited about the movies no matter if I did agree with his opinion or not. I was always excited to see what did Roger Ebert say. And now when it comes to film criticism today, who I'm really interested in now is, now that he's not around, <laughs> I'm not really interested in, in, the, in the major critic anymore. Uh, I'm curious, I'm always curious, but to me what's more fascinating, I would rather hear an opinion from a friend or a colleague or someone who's, you know, just grabbed a camera and, and is doing what I'm doing. That To me, that's almost more fascinating than the notable critics anymore now that Roger's not around because he was my favorite film critic and he's the one that inspired me the most to do what I'm doing today, to just love and appreciate film and just be honest with yourself and be yourself. And that was so amazing. It was such an amazing example from him, I and mean, he definitely, you know, was a great writer. And he won a Pulitzer. He run, uh, wrote a screenplay for ba Beyond the Valley of the Dolls, and he just went on to have the most extraordinary life. And it's this film. Steve James has done an exceptional job at, show, at, at showing us uh, a life that was, you know, he loved movies, but he loved also life itself, and it was so moving. I, I, it took me a little while to come up with my thoughts and I'm sorry if I come off a little rambling but I'm trying not to break down because this movie was completely moving from beginning to end and completely fascinating as we got to know Roger. I felt like even though I never really got to know Roger Ebert in person, I felt like through this film I got to know him again all over again. He's passed away, he's been dead for a year now 
and it's, I'm still really sad about that because I miss hearing what Roger Ebert's thinking about movies. Again, whether he's right or right, right or wrong, you know, I, I just I miss that. I miss that experience, and I know he still has a website, and people contribute to his website, uh, and of course Chaz contributes to the website every now and then, but I really miss his voice, and it's just this is just an amazing reminder of how important his voice was, and and his love of film that, you know, he just, he loved film so much and I love film so much and it's just an amazing example for me to just keep on doing. I want to do this till the day I die. I want to have this passion. This is my passion because all the experiences that he went through meeting uh, the, the filmmakers, I've had the opportunity to meet some of the filmmakers and, and people that are making the movies that I've loved or didn't like but it's just it's been an amazing road and this film just completely uh left me i'm 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 totally distraught right now i just like in the state of like i'm not depressed of course i'm not depressed but i'm just i've got this happy mixture of happy and sadness going on inside myself right now and i'm just so completely moved by this documentary and it was just great to experience this, and it was just so worth the wait. I was so excited to see this movie. I've been thinking about this movie for months now, as it's been premiering at film festival, and it's such a treat to finally, finally get to see it and get to experience it for myself. And I highly recommend it. If you truly live film, if you love film, if you love sharing your opinion, if you just love sharing your opinion with your friends, and you just love to live it, whether you're making videos or not, you know, making videos is not that important. It's something I like to do, but it's not that important. You know, sharing your your, your opinions through, you know, the great thing about the internet, we can share it through video, we can share it through just talking, or we can share it through our actual, you know, typing words, writing down. And that's what's so great about the internet, you know, whether, whether, whether you're into film or not, you, know, you can do whatever you want. But uh, since I'm into film, it's been an amazing ride and it's an amazing experience to see this film about Roger Ebert, someone I really look up to, even with his flaws. <laughs> he was a great man and a great example. And I'm going to try and strive to be like him when it comes to my passion about film as much as I closely can. Again, it was great to see this film with the interviews and with the with the footage, all the wonderful footage that was incorporated and edited so well by this film. Steve James did a fabulous job in directing this film. It's another great documentary, one of the best documentaries I've ever seen on the subject of film and on life itself. It's also one of the best films of 2014, and again, I highly recommend if you really truly love and live film, you gotta see this movie. I think you're really going to enjoy it. It's going to inspire you you know, with your passion, your own very own passion with film, because Roger Ebert uh, was just an amazing example for that, for that experience of just getting there and sharing your experiences, you know, share your love of cinema. If you really love cinema, get out there, share it. And I'm grateful for that, I'm thankful for that. And it's just an honor to actually see this film. Sorry if I rambled on too long, but uh, I hope I made some sense because this was a great film. I loved it, and I highly recommend it. Please, go check out if you can find it in your area or on cable, on demand, or whatever you want to call it. Check out Life Itself. I give the film a solid four stars out of four. I'm Movie Man Chat. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to WeLiveFilm.com and subscribe right here on YouTube to we Live Film. Also go to Long Beach Acting and Film Association right here on Facebook and Twitter. Please also go to MoviePilot.com. And if you've enjoyed this video review, please click right here. Subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, a wonderful night, and a wonderful life. And continue to enjoy your life, whether you like movies or not. But hopefully, if you do like movies, see the movies that you want to go see, the movies that you want to enjoy, and hopefully you can find some happiness somehow, somewhere. Because it's out there, man. And this was just a great example of someone's passion and some way, the way he enjoyed life. So whether you're into film or not, I highly recommend it because it's just a great example of just enjoying life. And it seems like Roger Ebert, seems like Roger Ebert did. All right, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day, great night, great life, and I'll see you in my next movie review. Peace be with you, my friends.